Hey traders, so yesterday I had a conversation with uh, one of our Trick Club members and the question was if let's say you were to wait for a price or entry confirmation before you take a trade, is it good or not? So that, that that's one of the important questions that I think it deserves a lot of our attention, All right? So if you if if we just use the chart and take it as an example so if let's say today we are looking for a double top trade right? let's not talk about double top right let's say we're looking for a break and retest kind of setup so market goes like this our oh, market is on a clear downtrend push lower and it push lower and your your and your in your decision is I would like to trade a break and retest setup here. And most of you know the way I trade, I normally don't care much about an entry confirmation. I don't really wait for a specific entry trigger. When I'm looking to trade these bread and butter setups, really simple, just a classical trend continuation kind of setup, I normally just use limit order and let them do the work. Why do I always emphasize on that is because if let's say you were to wait for an entry confirmation on this kind of simple place, what could happen is you're being caught too late to the party. So I'll give you some example. So, so let's say today you are looking to trade a BNR like that, right? Instead of entering at a very optimal price position, which is around that 134.86 level, if I put a horizontal line here, which is around that 134.87 level, you wait for a rejection candle on the lower time frame. You could be waiting for uh, an engulfing pattern. Most traders love to do that. And when you enter there, what happened is you are now placing a stop loss above. Because when, when you are waiting for a confirmation, it results in a delayed entry. And a delayed entry result in a poorer price position. And a poorer price position results in a poorer stop loss placement. And a poorer stop loss placement result in a poorer risk to reward ratio. And a, and a poor risk to reward ratio result in a low probability setup. Make sense? It's, it's like a chain reaction. Okay, so, and that's one of the reasons why I always emphasize if the setup is clean, when the market direction is clear, when the market structure is clear, don't care too much about so-called confirmation. Because a lot of times, as long as your entry is good, your stop loss is sensible, it will continue to run. If you wait for a confirmation of on this kind of a really clean setup, what happened is a lot of times it won't work. Most of the time you encounter scenario where oh price goes down one hour and it just snap. It's not because you're wrong. The setup is actually pretty clean. It's pretty good. But the key thing is the further price runs, the higher the chance where we'll see some sort of healthy, a deeper retracement back to the upside. It could be oh price pushed a little bit lower and it pulls back, retesting the high and it pushed further. And unfortunately when price do that, majority of the traders they will start looking for long they will start to buy the breakout and that's when they get caught wrong on both direction and the first thing was the, the market is just on a clean downtrend they get stopped out because they were a little bit late to the party they didn't short it here they didn't short it here they didn't short it here they short it there or they short it here all right and price goes a little bit further it pulls back deep and it pulls back deep traders start looking at the lower time frame they think oh market structure has shifted then guess what instead of shorting the downtrend they try to go long but they fail to realize when market is trending it doesn't necessarily have to go all oh, lower high lower low lower high lower low because if price does that everyone would have been made money where everyone would make money the key thing is why majority of traders lose money trading continuation is because of they, they have a false expectation the way they see the market is, is too textbook all right it's like a plus b equals to c unfortunately market is not that you need to consider different factors. You need to consider where is the defense line, where is the the sort of um, the key resistance, the key turning point. Once you're able to identify that, then you will say, "Hey, 
that's a little bit poor it's fine i'll wait for price to come back react at this resistance and see if there's any opportunity for me to go back to short it all right so this is one of the thing that i would like to emphasize so under what kind of condition do i prefer to wait for an entry confirmation is when market is presenting a more tricky kind of setup so let's say if today you're looking for a min reversion trade really aggressive market is on a crazy uptrend let's say we're on a 500 points rally up 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 then you're looking to trade this double top these are what what i call a low probable setups really aggressive play so when you're looking to trade this kind of setup that's when you need to wait for confirmation why because if you don't wait for confirmation there's no such thing as oh the market is is too overbought I know I sometimes use the word overbought oversold but there's no such thing as expensive cannot be more expensive in the financial market the worst mindset to have is you think it's impossible to go up you no know, market will shock you sometimes if the market wants to go up it will continue going up and if, if we were to look at this pound yen as an example as well see this if you were to short into every double top without trading on rise out of the V, you're going to lose a lot of money without waiting for the confirmation, without waiting for a clear structure shift. How many times are you going to be wrong? And then finally, maybe from here you're correct. But by that time, when market pushed all the way up for another 800 to 1000 pips, and you finally short it there, you probably blew half your account. By that time, do you still have the confidence to go short? And that's why majority always lose money so back to the topic of confirmation so if is confirmation good or not the answer is it depends on the nature of the setup what if it's a rather clean setup conservative kind of setup which is what i call the break and retest setup really clean why wait for confirmation because most likely price will continue to go down and go up but when you're trying to go aggressive on a heavy trend, you're trying to catch the falling knife, then you wait for confirmation. So what does it mean by right side of the V? You simply wait for market to present a clear rejection, a shift in structure, and then you look for a continuation. And when you look for a continuation, don't forget that when you're going against this kind of high time from trend, there's a few things that you have to be very careful. Where's the following support? So if let's say you short it here, market is on a heavy uptrend where is the following support slash resistance on the left you need to try to secure your position around it secure your exit around that kind of level because you are trading against the bigger picture you're trading against the overall trend second thing is if let's say you go short there what what's the potential risk reward what's the potential risk reward normally if it doesn't give me at least a one to two i just don't take it all right, so this kind of setup, just wait for confirmation and make sure when you go aggressive on this kind of reversal play, ask yourself where is the following structure. Don't get greedy trying to trade reversal, especially when the market is on the heavy trend. Because what you're doing is you're trading min reversion. Min reversion basically means you expect price to pull back to its mean price in the short term. In stocks, we call it the intrinsic value. By in FX, I don't call it the intrinsic value. Just pull back onto a healthy price before the next wave up. So again, I hope this lesson also helps some of you. Just sort of open up some of the doubts that you have. Is it okay to wait for confirmation? Is it okay? But only when the market is, it is presenting a more tricky kind of setup, then you wait for confirmation. And there goes another another thing, which is a delayed entry. If all of you know, yesterday I did a review on one of our traders' journal, right? And if you see, not yet, not sure it's yesterday or the day before, he has an issue which most of his losses were contributed by him waiting for a, let's say, price is doing a, a break and a retest, for example. He waited for the rejection. Rejection happened, right? And then it gets a little bit hard because sometimes when rejection happen, we don't want to short it here. Let's say price shows um, a, a bearish pin bar here. We don't want to short it here because if you short it there, stop us above. We all know very high chance price is going to tap you out. All right, because your stop loss placement is just not sensible. A lot of times I always use the word a sensible stop loss placement. 
and he don't want to enter here and guess what he then wait for a further break and then he trade the, the BNR here so is this okay the answer is not so recommended because if you go back to the trades review you'll realize a lot of the position guess what it got tapped out and then price continue to push further because why because market is already showing you there's a clear resistance here and if you try to wait for a confirmation with one more confirmation guess what you're too late to the party you become part of the retail trailer part of the 90 percent of people who are always a little bit late so again you just have to be a bit more careful when you're trying to wait for an entry confirmation make sure your price position is still healthy and make sure you have a sensible stop loss right so that's it for the lesson talk to you later bye bye